Dr. Jeff Howard, Commissioner for the Department of Public Health. Today I'd like to talk to you about a health topic that all of us are probably far too familiar with. That's tobacco and nicotine abuse. Presently, our data indicates that about 25% of adult Kentuckians smoke, which is one of the highest rates in the country. Our state's addiction to smoking is a well-known and costly habit that totals nearly $2 billion each year in associated medical costs. Here's something that you might not know. About 70% of smokers actually do want to quit, and we can do a better job of helping them. Last year, our providers made 1,886 referrals to the Quit Now Kentucky Public Health Tobacco Quit Line and a counseling services. But it came, has come to our attention that our, your patients might not be getting the message to sign up. Of all the individuals referred to tobacco cessation counseling, only about 6.8% of them, or 128 people, actually enrolled. We can do better than this. Just taking a minute to talk to your patients about the quit line can have a dramatic impact on whether or not they choose to enroll. I'm talking about adult patients as well as teenagers who are also eligible for the quit line counseling services. This brings me to another important and emerging issue that has shown up on the public health radar. A product known as electronic cigarettes and Juul specifically. Juul is a sleek, high-tech electronic cigarette and it looks like a USB flash drive. Not surprisingly, when it was first introduced, it was marketed very aggressively, especially to younger people. And in one year, Juul experienced a 75% growth in sales and is now the most popular electronic cigarette product in the U.S., accounting for over half the market. Juul is tiny, so it's easy to conceal from parents, teachers, and others. It also comes in different flavors, such as mango, fruit medley, and cool mint. Of course it appeals to young people. Educators are reporting an alarming level of Juul use in middle and high schools, which is exposing our young people to dangerously high levels of nicotine as well as the unknown potential health threats that could be associated with this product. Do not assume that these products are, our are always a better alternative to traditional cigarettes. There is sound research that clearly indicates that they can pose a great danger to our young people and are likely a gateway to cigarette use later in life. Nicotine exposure during periods of significant brain development, such as adolescence, can disrupt the growth of brain circuits that control attention, learning, and susceptibility to addiction. The effects of nicotine exposure during youth and young adulthood can have long-lasting effects and include lower impulse control and even mood disorders. Even scarier is that many young people don't realize that they are inhaling nicotine when they use Juul or electronic cigarettes. A recent study found that 63 percent of current Juul users did not know that the product contains nicotine. Young people don't consider these dangers, or if anything, may be intrigued by things, whether it be electronic cigarettes, alcohol, or illicit drugs that can potentially cause them harm. We have to take every opportunity to intervene in the lives of, of our adolescents and teenagers to reverse this way of thinking and impress upon them the dangers and possibilities for long-term negative health consequences. Juul and other electronic cigarettes products are putting Kentucky kids at risk of nicotine addiction and threatens to undermine decades of progress in reducing youth tobacco use. If we don't act now, we are not going to see any progress toward reducing the 25 percent of Kentucky adults who smoke or the two billion we are spending each year in healthcare costs, 600 million of which are Medicaid dollars. In fact, these numbers could very well start to increase. As Public Health Commissioner, I'm asking you to join in our efforts connect more tobacco users with cessation services and to talk to teens and adolescents and their parents about the dangers of Juul and electronic cigarettes. Thank you for your time and I look forward to working with you to decrease smoking, tobacco use, and electronic cigarette use in Kentucky.